here's how to place an image in Illustrator. Use image trace and then select the same color and separate it from the rest of the image. So file, you want to go new and set your width and height for your artboard. Go to file, place, find your image, place it. It'll be as big as you have downloaded it, so it may be a little bit bigger than your artboard. You can go up here to the width and height up at the top of the toolbar. Make sure that this link, link is selected so that the aspect ratio will stay the same. And I usually just take the width of the artboard and stick it in here. So I've set mine to five. I hit tab so it moves over the height and it will automatically adjust the aspect ratio. And then I press enter. With your image selected, you're going to go to the image trace tool, which should be here on the right. It looks like a circle with three small dots on the right. If you do not see that, then you want to go up to the top and click window. And then you will find all of these tools that are here and you can select image trace and it will automatically open it up for you. So here it is. There are a lot of presets here. Um, if you're doing three to six colors, I can do three or six, or I can choose one of them and slide it to four or five. So I can go ahead and click on three. It's automatically going to change that into its three colors. If it doesn't show you the change, that means you have preview not selected. So be sure you select on preview. And from here is where I can select and change the amount of colors to three, four, five, up all the way to 30. So let's say this is all I want. I can then now divide up um, it by color. So while I have it selected, I'm going to go up to the toolbar up at the top, click on object, and then expand. It will pull up a menu that looks like this. So you want to make sure that object and fill are both selected and then click OK. And now everything is divided into its own shapes. So what we can see from here is if I move my to my direct select tool. So the black one is the regular selection. The white one is direct select, which allows me to select directly specific objects. Out of here that I can move. I want to be able to keep all of this one light blue color so I can see that it's kind of divided in here. There's pieces of it in between the shrine. I want to be able to select all of them. So with the direct select tool selected, I click on the color that I want. I then go to select the toolbar select. Hover over same. And then I want to go to fill color. That is going to then, as you can see now, I can see all of this it has now selected everything that is that fill color. I can click and drag, and now it is selected everything with that color. I can do the same thing with this. I'm going to click on this red, select, same fill color. It's selected all this red, even these little bits that are here. I can click, drag this away and now make it its own separate um, layer.